Hello everyone, it's Exo Man, and I'm, uh, I'm working on a video about helping people and solving problems and solving your problems at the same time. Yes, it's true. You can steal people's problems and integrate them as resources for your world. Case in point, I'm cleaning up a lot at a rental property, yes? burning leaves. I'm doing a half a day's work in an hour and a half. Lots of leaves. Okay. So my fire, my fire is dying down and I've raked up a lot of wet leaves from over here. See these? A lot of very wet leaves and mulch in here. I can't readily burn that because it's wet. So what am I doing to solve that? Well, I've already used up all my dry leaves in this vicinity. So I'm stealing leaves from my neighbor's lot. You see where they're dry in the sun? I steal those or I take his problem away, integrate it into my problem. My problem is solved because I've got fresh material to keep my fire burning bright. You see? spiritually, physically, metaphorically, literally, what have you. Another example might be that you're living in an environment that doesn't require a lot of upkeep. So you're not getting, say, as much physical exercise activity as, as you would like to remain in optimal health, right? So maybe your neighbor has a task that requires a lot of, you know, physical strength and, and brawn and, and endurance. And if you help out, it helps you physically to stay fit, things like that. I mean, I, I recently had a, a neighbor, a friend of mine came over and helped me with a task that I couldn't do alone. It required two strong men to do it. And I said, let me give you some money. I really appreciate your help. And he said, how, how about we chalk it up to friendship? right? Because he really wanted to get out and work. He wanted to do something physically active. But, you know, naturally, I want to figure out a way to help him too. But it just, it, it really is essential for us. We, we, we're we not, no man is an island, you know? And we've kind of forgotten these tendencies, this natural behavior, this instinct that we have to be a community and really help each other. We've just gotten too fast paced. I mean, evolution is good, but we need to find our place and, and pull back and look at the big picture and see what we can be doing to help all of us. We're an anthill, aren't we? How about this? You like to run? You like to walk for physical fitness? You're doing that every day. You're doing it alone, right? You've got an elderly neighbor that has a dog that they can't walk. Maybe they can't walk or run like you can, but their dog needs that activity, right? So maybe you decide to do an extra walk or, you know, walk six days a week instead of five days a week and you take that dog with you or you just take that dog with you every time you walk, however you want to work it out. Who are you helping? You're helping an, an, an animal in need, maybe elderly people in need, and yourself. Tell me about your example of stealing a problem, of taking a problem from someone else, bringing it into your world, and in a sort of symbiotic fashion, making something positive of it, and making something positive for your neighbor happen. You see, we do this. I've, I've adapted in my life <clears throat> because I, as a child, I stole people's refuse, you know, things they put out in the alleys, things they put in the trash. I solved the landfill problem by using those as necessities for myself. It starts with simple things like that and kind of expands your consciousness, opens your mind to these possibilities. So later in life, we find ourselves adapting those old habits like this. So tell me your story. Tell me a way that you have invigorated or enhanced your life by solving someone else's problem, but specifically taking their problem and using it to your advantage or leveraging it and along with your desire to help. This can be charity. This can be just basic work, uh, you know, taking of using of 
more abundant resources or what have you and and, and reinvigorating them think just things like that i want to hear your stories because i want to make a video or write a piece about it all right share with me burden me with your problems all right thanks for watching everyone so what do you think you roast a day sometimes lately 20 pounds a lot yeah, yeah. 20 yeah. pounds probably yeah um we're ramping up slowly, but actually the last couple of weeks it's been getting busy. So, yeah, love you're, it. You're a busy girl. It smells like coffee everywhere around I, here. <laughs> I love Banshee Moon coffee. I drink Me it, too. Drink mm. it every morning. And it smells so good. I bring it to the post office and they're like, what smells so good? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. My packages. <laughs> and where do you get it? Uh, Etsy.com slash shop slash Banshee Moon. And what does it make uh, a good gift for? Christmas, <laughs> birthdays, Father's Day, Mother's Day. Oh. Yeah. Good thinking. Flag Day. <laughs> President's Day. <laughs> Veterans Day. Yes. All right. Nice. Yeah.